My name is Liam Phillips. I'm a former BMX world champion and I'm now coaching at the World Cycling Centre. So the World Cycling Centre is based in Eagle, Switzerland. The programme basically offers uh, the opportunity for athletes from a variety of different countries that don't have world-class support in their own, their own countries or from their federations. And we provide them with amazing facilities, coaching, accommodation, and give them the opportunity to be the very best that they can be. That, in terms of like distance, yeah, would be about 20 centimetres. Yeah, the same order as before, yeah? Jose, Facundo, Lucas, Comet, Aliska, Mongoba, Phillips. At least two, maybe even three starts, okay? And then we'll come back and review. My passion to coach has solely come from my, my own experiences. I was very, very fortunate to have amazing coaching throughout my career. I want to give other athletes the opportunity to receive you know, the very best coaching that I can offer. We had 60 athletes come in from all over the world and then we selected 13 ready to, yeah, to train full time and, and be as good as they can be. My main focus is to try and create a team of athletes super motivated and dedicated to being the best that they can. Um, and you know, they work hard and, and we have fun. You know, for me, the journey to being the best in the world is, is, um, is long, it's tiresome and you know, the, the, the sport of BMX is relentless. These athletes are gonna go through a lot. They're gonna, get, they're gonna crash, they're gonna get injured. And I think character and resilience within the world of BMX to be successful is, is an absolute necessity. So yeah, these, are, these are traits that I'm already looking for now within, within my group. The, the long-term goal of this programme is obviously to have, to have success at major events, so World Championships, Olympic Games. It's, a, it's an exciting time to work with them and try and you know, point them in the right direction, not only help with them from a performance standpoint, but also just in life. You know, I, I want to try and help build good people as well as good athletes. So I'm very fortunate that the management at the World Cycling Centre understand that this is a long-term process and um, yeah, we're building a team here for you know, not the immediate future, but for, for success in the next few years. We're here in Baku for the 2018 BMX World Championships. I'm here obviously with the WCC. Um, I have athletes, six athletes. The chance to race for a rainbow jersey is something that all the athletes look forward to every year. And unfortunately, I'm not able to, to be out there chasing the rainbow this year. But um, yeah, to, to help a group of athletes from the, the coaching sidelines is, is a huge honor. It's definitely different, um, but I'm as excited as they are. So preparation for the World Championships has been really good. Ultimately for me, it's about learning more about them and, and you know, gaining as much experience as possible for them on the race scenes. So last time we caught up was in Baku. Since Baku, we've also had a whole new bunch of, of athletes arrive from a variety of different countries and we are now getting ready for the final World Cup, which is you know, one of the, the first Olympic qualification races in Argentina. So following Argentina, there's no races and there's no, there's, you know, I can, I can really spend time, break the athletes down. We can start with a, a great off season and then build the foundations ready for 2019. So it's been six months now since I started uh, my job here. And yeah, it's been, it's been a steep learning curve for me to transition from, you know, high performing athlete into a coach. It's been an amazing challenge to, you know, try and get a team to work together and operate together. Although it's a very individual sport, you spend, every minute of every day together. These guys live with each other in, in Mont Séjour and they're training in the gym and on the track, they're eating together, everything they do is together. So to get a group of riders to work together um, in, a, in such an individual sport is a big challenge, but it's one that um, yeah, I really enjoy. So the last time we caught up was just before going to Santiago del Estero for the last World Cup of 2018. Um, the athletes, I had some new athletes join us for the first time. Um, it was great to see them, how they perform in competition. Um, the athletes that have been with me from the start had their season best performance. We had Simone Christensen from Denmark. She finished, she made two finals, which was great way to end the season. Yoshi and, and Christabel both in the quarterfinals. So it's sort of two top 25 performances and yeah, it's given the, the athletes some, some confidence going into 
the offseason. Simone Christensen off to a great start. Felicia Stancil coming from the outside. She wants to match up with Christensen. I think Leon's ways to work is really good because it's really in the small, small details. Um, and I think that's what I need to be that little bit faster to be on top of the game uh, for the next upcoming seasons. I'm training with him is, uh, I think he's pushed me harder than before. So that I, I think uh, I can be better than before. So one of my personal highlights for 2018 was uh, one of the junior riders, Comet Sukhwasaf from Thailand. He arrived uh, back in March and his progress over the last six months has been unbelievable. He, uh, he went to the Youth Olympic Games in Buenos Aires and he finished fourth. He went up against some of the best juniors in the world and, and finished fourth. So for me that was a, a really big a big result for, for, for him and um, yeah, I think the, the Thai Cycling Federation were really happy with his performance. So my first season as a coach at the WCC has, uh, has, been, has been great, it's been thoroughly enjoyable, I've loved every minute of it, I've learnt a lot. It's really generic goals for, for you know, the next couple of years, like we need to qualify as many riders as possible for the Olympics, that's the, that's the big goal. Um, but then along the way I feel like qualifying for the Olympics for some athletes is going to be a big challenge, but then for others it's yeah, it's more about winning major events. You know, that's what I loved as, a, as an athlete and now as a coach, I want to help these athletes to be the best in the world. I hope you guys all enjoyed following my 2018 season as the WCC coach and I look forward to seeing you in 2019.